when I got my GSAT result, I run and shout and and have a nice time. Then the eye water was running out of my eyes, do I am so happy. And they say, how could Roshane get so higher marks than us? Like, oh, he missed out school so much. And I tell him, it's nothing hard. And I just went out. I came home and I tell my parents they were happy. That was a happy day. We should have been to school because we didn't have any money to send him to school. Because you know, his, his, his father alone was doing something, and he's on now and then he used to get something to do. So that can keep him from school very, very often. My mother didn't have the money to send me to school, I have, didn't have anything to send me, so I had to stay with her, stay back from school, so I felt bad. Very bad. I can remember clearly checking his attendance pattern and seeing Roshan only attending school like once per month. And if we look back to date at his 2014 to 2015 school year, he would have only been here for 47% of the school's year. Children of Faith and UNICEF did an assessment some time ago and found out that children in the Chester Castle and surrounding communities weren't going to school and the others said there was school dropout due to pregnancy. When we find out the problem, we decide to approach it in three ways. Financial, psychological and at the community level. The community level is where we talk to people in the street or at the PTA meeting and have them form group, like a community parenting support group. The financial level is where we offer the parents an income generating activity that will increase their financial capacity and they can use that to send the children to school. The psychological level is where this is compulsory in all the program, they have to attend counseling, both the parents and the children. Parents and child, parents alone, children alone. And the children have their support group, this is the young adult support group, and the parents have their support group. Children of faith helped me very, very much. The money that they gave to my mother and buy bleach and stuff and gave to her, that's what they gave her and she started to send herself and send me back to school. With the whole introduction of Mrs. Meredith's Children of Faith organization, Roshane Thomas has been tremendously helped. Because looking back at his attendance pattern, we'd have seen a 21% increase in his attendance to school during 2015 to 2016. This has caused Roshane to improve not only academically, but also socially. When I realized that Roshane didn't even have a birth certificate, when I realized that Roshane don't forget anything that we tell him in the support group, <laughs> <laughs> really have to smile about Roshin. Roshin is something else. He was excited and the parents were excited to get the birth certificate. He now already started that he can do his GSAT and in passing GSAT and I said to myself this is what this is what I say about all children. Every child can learn given a chance. How I get ready for the exam was my best friend Dwight helped me get, to get prepared. I go back to, to school three days before the exam and he helped me, he, he, he taught me everything that he has learned, everything. Personally, I will try to help as much people, as much children as possible, as much rushing as possible. And as we can see, it didn't take a lot. One girl on a bleach, one girl on a sanitizer, little time to spend with Roshane in counseling, a little time to spend with the parents in counseling and with the parenting community support group. Yes, we can do it. I feel very happy right now like I'm going back to school on a regular basis and to learn newer things. Learning is so fun for me. I know my goal. My goal is to learn.